Hey, y'all. It's John Michael. And Monica. With the new adventure. The real Monica. Ah, ah she's back. I'm back. <laughs> okay, um, so this week, guys, we're going to do some prep work. Uh, we're getting ready to head out on a trip. We are going to the Hatfield and McCoy, Hatfield and McCoy Trails in West Virginia. So we're going to be taking the Ranger with us, packing up the camper. Today's more about the getting ready for the trip. That's right. Trip. We're going to show you guys some of the things we do before we head out on a big trip. So we're going to get some of our food prepped and ready. Um, Got to get the old change in the Ranger, get the Ranger loaded. Yep. get it loaded properly that's right because last time we rushed a little bit when we got it loaded we left a day early and we didn't, didn't get it strapped down time. right so we got to show you the repair we got on the oh, cabinets yeah. cabinet doors are fixed now yay hopefully we don't mess them up again so here's how that happened so we took the cabinet doors to my dad who just happened to be a cabinet maker for over 30 years so so is this where the magic happens this here is the shop this here is the this shop the magic happens that's right these yeah. things don't fix themselves, do they? No, they don't. So when you break something, this is where you go. This is Santa's workshop. When you got kids, <coughs> you're always having to fix stuff for them. That's right. That's right. Good cookie. This is the one that was split all the pieces. So yeah. This whole piece was split off and split all the way down. And you just glued it, it all? Mm -hmm. Can you see where you glued it? <laughs> Look at that. Just look at it. That looks really good. You did a really good job. You see where it was split right through here? Mm-hmm. I can. <coughs> Let's show and right here. Okay. That actually is a split right there. I've got it filled. It was split all the way all, all the way down through here. Hmm. To here. See? Yeah. And see. here back. <laughs> we did a good job breaking it down. It was all dug out right there big gouges, mm -hmm. big gouges across there. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you know. So it looks really good. Are they finished or you still gotta stain them some more? I'm still working on the stain. Not only did we break the doors, but we also broke the knobs and we bent the screws that hold the knobs into place. We also bent the screws and the hinges, so we had to do a little bit of adjustment to the hinges to get everything back in place. And then we also had to get new screws to hold the cabinet doors on. But then, once we had everything in place, it worked pretty good. And just like that, they're fixed amazing. Nothing to it. Ta -da. Thanks Bernard. Well now that that's done, let's get the oil changed in the Ranger. So I was instructed to warm up the motor before we can change the oil in it. Yeah, I'm good with that. makes these kits uh, you just go into your dealership tell them what unit you got and they'll give you the oil change kit for it It comes with the proper amount of oil and the filter and uh, we go down to our local uh, Polaris dealership which is Crossroads and they hook us up with it so thank you guys now we're gonna rotate the tires on the truck we don't do this before every trip but it's always a good idea to check your tires before you go anywhere All right, time to lower the truck now. Well, now that the maintenance is all finished, let's start packing. So one tip that I will tell you is if you're gonna be making a big meal while you're gone, it's probably best to go ahead and do your food prep. We're doing burgers our first night, so I'm gonna go ahead and patty out the meat, um, have it ready to go. I'll go ahead and season it up. That way I don't have to take all my seasonings with me that we like to put on our burgers. Um, I also, we're making a pasta salad. I'll go ahead and make that, have it in the refrigerator, ready to go. We don't have an oven in our camper. We have a convection microwave. So it's just easier for us if we go ahead and prep things for when we're gone. Another camping tip would be to make sure and go ahead and turn on your refrigerator, um, maybe six to eight hours before you plan on packing to leave. So a lot of times we'll do it the night before we're leaving or getting ready to pack um, so that it's ready to go when you wanna put your food in. 
it's more important in the summertime I would say and in the summertime we actually will turn our air on the night before too because it gets really hot in the camper right now that's not necessary but definitely the refrigerator needs to be on before you pack there you go so taking care of your animals while you're gone can sometimes be the most challenging thing about a vacation um, we do actually take our dogs with us because we camp um, so that works for us the donkeys however they don't fit in the camper. Well, we probably could, but we probably couldn't take everything else. So, my in-laws, they do help us with them when we're gone. They come over and take care of them. We've had neighbors help us before um, with the chickens, things like that. Um, and of course, they're welcome to any eggs while we're gone. Um, but yeah, that can make it difficult to travel if you have animals. Now all that's left to do is hook up the camper and get the ranger loaded in. Actually going to attempt to put the side by side in backwards this time um, just for future reference to see if it fits better this way um, can't break a whole lot more than we broke last time so we're gonna give it a go So we tried to put tension from both sides, from the front to the back, and we crisscrossed it underneath. So we'll see, see if that'll hold. All right, we're all loaded up. Very, very little room to spare here, so it is a tight fit. Woo, here's hoping these doors hold up this time. And yeah, that's it. That's as much clearance as you get. Okay. So make sure you guys join us back next week. Um, we will show you guys our adventure, take you with us on the trails. Um, hopefully we don't break too much. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Watch us next week to see what happens. Um, stay tuned. Stay tuned, <laughs> yeah. So thanks for joining us as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and we'll see you back next week here on the new adventure oven in our refrigerator we don't i mean we take things we don't have an oven in our refrigerator thanks Kayla. it's john michael wait i got my teeth Wait.